You know what you just gotta love about the Grandier class? Is that, is how meme they are, you know? It's just, there's no class in the world out there, in the amazing frontier of Titanfall, that is more meme more epic, more satisfying to get kills with than the Grenadier class. And you know, you just gotta love how they do damage to Titans, you know? Just, just absolutely fantastic, so that way you don't have to bother switching to your you know, your anti-Titan weapon. That's just absolutely fantastic. <laughs> Hello everyone, Nick here, and today I am bringing you a video, I'm sure a lot of you, two people in specific, that I, who <laughs> have been looking forward to the video, so right now we're talking about the EPG, and right now we're going to do something a little different. We're actually going, I'm actually watching this gameplay as I'm recording my I'm not playing right now. I'm record I'm recording my voice as I'm watching the gameplay and I'm just gonna commentate on it on the gameplay while I'm talking about the EPG. So yeah, let's uh let's talk about that EPG because it's it's time. It's time we talk about how the fact that so that the EPG is how it's basically well how do I put this? Mm, the single most popular grenadier weapon to have ever existed. Like if you are planning on getting into the Grenadiers, also by the way, I have no fucking clue how I missed that dude. I am so incredibly angry just looking at that. But yeah, I do manage to get quite a bit of kills. Well, not quite a bit, you know, it's a it's a normal game for me, you know, only like 35, 36 kills, so something like that. It's nothing crazy, but you know, it was good enough for me to be like, okay, you know, what? I'm just going to put it on here. So yeah. Don't expect too much crazy gameplay. Uh I die a lot in the beginning and then, you know, I start getting more kills, uh, like, later on, actually, like, three minutes in, the three minutes in is when I, uh, start getting the uh, kills, but anyway, back to about the EPG, so, obviously, the EPG is, without a doubt, the most popular Grandier weapon in all of Titanfall, and there's a reason why, and that's because it's just, it's, it's a pretty, it's a pretty straightforward, uh, weapon, you know, it's a one-shot kill when you direct, and of course, the stat splash damage helps a lot, as a matter of fact, 75% of these kills in this game were actually splash damage. Like, you know, if you want to get good at EPG, just abuse that splash damage. Of course, you want to always go for, you know, hitting hitting your targets. Obviously, hitting your targets will all, directly hitting them will always, always be better. But if, if you truly want to get good at uh, EPG, sometimes you just got to learn to rely on that splash damage. Like, if you don't want to have to worry about doing the mental gymnastics of calculating where your enemy is going to be, and just ha fo relying on hitting them, you can just wait for them to touch the ground, and and which they, it's Titanfall, so you know, <laughs> eventually they'll touch the ground anyways. You know, considering how many people play this game. But anyways, yeah, it's just r abuse that splash damage, and you'll get you'll get those kills, is what I found. Now, in the event that you're going up against uh, a grapple tryhards, which you know there were a couple of lows in this game. Obviously, it's going to be a little bit harder because they're not going to be touching the ground as much or a uh, solid. They're not going to be having any contact with any physical part of the map for a lot, for a majority of the game. The chances are they're going to be in the air, and that's where, uh, you know, it uh, it gets a little annoying. But you know, Grapple only has two charges, and you know, chances are they they they're noobs, and you know, they don't have they don't have the epic, amazing tactic kill, which is what I'm running by the way on EPG. EPG and uh, extra ammo is what I find because the the reload time for this gun is <laughs> it's not that bad actually it's uh, it's pretty good the, the the base reload time is it's it's okay so yeah what was I saying oh yeah chances are the people with grapple won't have tact kills so you know they they won't be getting too many kills so you know. They won't be in the air for two- they won't be able to spam grapple, such as someone like me who knows how to get lots of kills and always have that grapple ready because of tactical. But that's besides the point. So yeah, I, I do find grapple player- grapple players as- they're- the, uh, grapple players are annoying when you have regular normal guns, you know, like the car, the bolt, flatline, our series, stuff like that. But- and they're annoying, but with a projectile weapon, especially with something- uh, a projectile that moves as slow as the EPG. <laughs> Grapple is infinitely more annoying. As a matter of fact, I think. Hmm. 
Aside from the Thunderbolt, yeah, obviously. I think the EPG has the slowest moving projectile in the game. So that's, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's gonna get, a uh, that, uh, that can be a little difficult about it. But again, that one-shot kill and the, the actual projectile hitbox is pretty damn big. Really damn big, actually. But yeah. Uh, what was I saying? Anyways, yeah, I find that when I'm running around with the EPG, uh, the bad ping hurts more. Absolutely. Obviously, bad ping will hurt. It's just like, whatever hurts you, you know, grapple players, bad ping, stuff like that, wh whatever would hurt you when you're using a normal gun, that is ampl- the effect it has on you is amplified up to a million when you're using the EPG, because, you know, when you're dealing with bad ping, then you have to deal with no regs. As a matter of fact, earlier on in the game, I'm sure you, uh, I'm sure you all saw it, I literally shot a dude, he died, I was standing there for a whole second, and then I straight up died, because he was close to me, I must have absorbed the splash damage, and then, you know, ping being, well, ping, uh, I died from my own EVG shot a second after it, ex it combusted. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways. So yeah, like I said, you, you as you can see on my kills, they're mostly just splash damage kills because yeah, this is uh, this is actually my first game of the day by the way, so like if I am, so my movement main, at, at, like yeah, prime example, I'm just, I'm just all over the place. <laughs> But this is my first game of the day, and I'm, I'm, I'm proud of how I did. Because despite the fact that this is the first game of the day, and this is the first time- Oh wait, watch this. Ooh, that was a nice shot. I- I- Listen, hitting someone off of a Titan, that's, that's, not, that's not too easy to do, even with a normal gun. Because, like, the hitbox of the Titan over- It, it, it overlaps a little bit with the hitbox of the pilot, so it can be a little difficult, but- Doing that with an, let alone with an EPG, oh man, that, I was like, oh my god, I nearly splooged my pants, and I nearly called my mom to tell her, hey, I just hit, uh, a, a, a pilot off of a Titan with the EPG, you know, I almost did that, I was very proud of that moment, but yeah, so, you know, I'm just running around this, now, I am incredibly happy that we got War Games, because, the thing about war games is that everyone's going to be running on the walls. Ideally. <laughs> Again, we all know how Titanfall players play this game. Now, I do something really stupid here. Yeah, I should have gone around, but, you know, I'm the worst pilot player in existence, so, you know, what can I do? But as I was saying, I'm happy I got war games, you know. Everyone's going to be running on the walls, so lots of people making contact with a surface of some sort. And EPG users love surfaces. You know, I got a little overzealous there, and I shot the box when I thought I was going to shoot the player. Anyways, now look at this right here. That was an interesting shot. I feel like that should have hit. As a matter of fact, I'm fairly certain that EPG actually did hit the player box, but because of no regs, yeah. Oh, speaking of no regging. We need to have a serious talk about what happens when the projectile is in the air and you die. Because what the hell is up with that? Why is it that whenever you all, you all know, all you, you EPG users, you all know what I'm talking about. What the hell is up with that? When I shoot the projectile, it's in the air and it just disappears when I die. Like if it's in the air and I die, it just completely disappears. And... Well, so, if it's been traveling for a little bit, it will stay in the air even if you die. But, like, if, if you shoot it, like, a second, a, if it's been traveling for, like, uh, one or two seconds after you die, then it will disappear. Like, it needs to be in the air for a good amount of time, like, four or five seconds before you, like, you know, in order for it to not disappear, which I find in incredibly stupid and the same thing happens for frag grenades too like if you throw a frag grenade it doesn't disappear when you die but all it loses all of its forward momentum 
Like, it's traveling through the air and then it just stops and falls. It's like its momentum is energetically tied to you in some way to your life force. <laughs> the mechanics in Titanfall never failed, to, never ceased to amaze me, ever. But the thing about the. Another thing about the. E speaking of projectiles. So obviously, the EPG does not have that projectile drop that most projectile guns have. You know, we got Scorch, the Softball. Uh, Kraber does have a little bit of projectile drop. I just learned that a, l a while ago. Kraber apparently does have a little. But. Pff, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> some people say it does, some people say it doesn't. I know for a fact in Apex Legends, the Kramer has projectile drop. Every gun has projectile drop in Apex Lemons. But, Lemons, yes, Apex Lemons. Guys, go play Apex Lemons. Go find the Lemon Legend. It's just a, ba it's just a giant lemon with a top hat and eyes. Playing, that's going to be the next legend, guys. Hopefully it's not Ash, you know. Anyways. So, yeah, that's the EPG. I hope I, I hope you all enjoyed the uh, the video, and uh, like I actually guys believe it or not, I was having so much fun using this gun that I actually did not drop down my time at all. Which, as man, you may know, is something that I never do. I always drop down my time whenever whenever I get it. Yep, definitely that's me. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you guys around in another video. Peace.